So Nate Solder has signed a four year, $60 million contract with the New York Giants. Holy crap. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for left tackle. He's the highest paid offensive lineman in the league now, fun fact. Um, do I like this move? I mean, for the price tag? Nah, I don't think he deserves that much money, but was this a necessity for the New York Giants? Was this a move that they had to make? Absolutely. You lost out on Andrew Norwell, who a lot of people thought you were going to get. A lot of people thought that Andrew Norwell was going to go to the New York Giants. Um, he did not. That was a big loss. So you needed to get some form of somewhat, you know, you needed to get some type of high caliber offensive lineman. And that's where Nate Solder comes in. Um, obviously, you missed out on, you know, uh, Andrew Norwell. That sucks. You still have, uh, is it Eric Flowers? Uh, it's not Trey Flowers, is it? Uh, the left tackle that you had last year, if you're a New York Giants fan, you can let me know in the comments section below. I'm pretty sure it was Eric Flowers. can't remember. But he was awful. The Giants offensive line was awful, and it didn't do any Eli Manning any favors. Um, so if you're the New York Giants, you have to get offensive linemen, and it starts with Nate Solder. Um, obviously, you're paying him a lot of money, but you don't have to worry about that position, arguably, for the next four years. I know he's still relative, he, he's getting up there in age at 29, but offensive linemen can play for a long time. I mean, look at a guy like Joe Thomas, and Nate Solder isn't terrible. I feel he's up there in tackle, you know, tackle in tackles of the league. I feel he's up there. You could do a lot worse than Nate Solder. There's not many players I could think of that would come to mind that are much better better than Nate Solder. You know, he's firmly up there in the upper echelon of left tackles. Did he get overpaid? Probably. But this is a move that the Giants had to make. You have to protect Eli Manning and your future quarterbacks and whatnot. You have to protect them. Now you can focus on the rest of your offensive line, focus on guard positions. You just lost Weston Richburg, which was a huge loss for them. Um, you can move Eric Flowers around and see where he works. He is a former first round pick, so maybe he'll do better at a different position. I believe he will. Um, maybe move him to guard or something. Who knows? But I feel like Eric Flowers would do some good with a position change. I'm sure he'd be happy about it too. Um, but now you don't have to worry about left tackle anymore. And you can at least confirm, if you want to use that word, you can at least assure that you're going to get some level of protection for Eli Manning. That'll help out a lot. You know, keep Eli's jersey clean, keep him up, upright in passing the ball. You still have good weapons in Odell Beckham and Sterling Shepard, as well as Evan Ingram. Um, now, if, if you're doing the rest of the free agency and you're the Giants, uh, you focus that on the offensive line. Maybe you draft a couple of offensive linemen and you just work on it. You know, you just got to work on it now. You have a few years now where you don't have to worry about one of the more important positions in football, which is left tackle. You know, they always say, they always say that if you're building a team, there's a couple of main positions that you want and is that you want a star cornerback to be your friend to be a cornerstone you want a cornerstone left tackle and you want a cornerstone quarterback well the giants they they have do they have a cornerback i have no idea but you have a left tackle now and you have a quarterback you can build around that you have some pieces that you can build around now for at least the next couple of years obviously you have to address these problems later probably in a couple years with Eli Manning's case, but you don't have to worry about left tackle for the next four years, probably. And that's huge. And I feel like the Giants had to make that type of move if they want to be anywhere near this NFC East race. Um, and I feel that they, they're they clawing their way back and they have the money to do it. So I believe that this move was a necessity for them. But Giants fans, let me know down in the comments section below um, how you feel about this move. And if you did like this move and you're new, Go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the like button. But again, let me know. Did you like the move? Did you hate the move? Let me know down in the comment section below. And the rest of you NFL fans, don't worry. I'm going to be trying to cover all the moves that you guys, that other teams have been making. If you have a suggestion for a move that you want me to cover, leave it in the comment section below as well. And Bucks fans, don't worry. I'm still going to be making the majority of this content Bucks stuff. As always, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. And until then, goodbye for now, guys. See ya.